Hi, I'm Lindsay Baumgren of Nourish Move Love, and this is your 35 minute arms and abs workout. Today we're focusing specifically on three arm muscles, the shoulders, the biceps, and the triceps. We're gonna throw in some abs and cardio in there too. It's gonna be an awesome upper body workout. I have the awesome Rachel. She's gonna be offering modifications throughout today's workout. If you need them, follow along with her. Otherwise, you can scale it up with me. Your workout looks like this. All you need are dumbbells. We have 15s and 10s with us. You have three circuits. Each circuit has three to four strength exercises. You're gonna do them for 40 seconds of work followed by 20 seconds of rest. Repeat at times two, drop the dumbbells and go into a cardio and core Tabata. That is 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. Two exercises done three times. We're gonna hit it all today, the shoulders, the triceps, and the biceps, and we're gonna get some abs and core. You ready to do this thing? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's get ourselves started with an awesome mobility warm up before we jump in. So we're gonna come down actually to a quadruped position on all fours. We're gonna go through a couple cat cows. So shoulders stacked over wrists, hips over knees, toes tucked under, and you're going to scoop the belly, lift the chin, or I'm sorry, drop the belly, lift the chin, and then you're gonna scoop the belly, couple cat cows. Moving through some spinal flexion because we want you to know what it feels like. We're gonna talk about keeping a nice neutral spine, specifically as we're going into an overhead press position and we don't wanna arch into that low back, but we need you to know where that spine is and what it feels like to be neutral, right? So drop the belly. We don't wanna be like this when we're pressing overhead. Round out the spine. We don't wanna be like this when we're pressing overhead. Now find a nice neutral spine, nice strong neutral spine. Head tailbone in alignment, that's where we're gonna wanna be in our planks today and in our overhead presses, okay? So now you know where that is at. Let's go ahead and warm up right here. Take the right foot, step it outside the right hand, and you're going to just take this back arm and open up, sweep, and tap. Some nice shoulder, chest openers right here. Getting some good range of motion, adding a little bit of lotion to our joints as we move them through a full range of motion. Nice, right there. Take two more right here on this side. Awesome job. One more on this side, nice. While we're in this kneeling position, you're out simply gonna come up. If you need to, you can always put a towel underneath this knee. Right here, this knee is straight out from this hip, right here, back toe is tucked under, this is active. Imagine I'm gonna punch you in the stomach. Oh, what are you gonna do? When I punch you in the stomach, you instantly go, right? So imagine that hollowed out position where you just tucked your pelvis under your rib cage. Now bring this chest up, spread it apart, keep that pelvis tucked under, that's what we want. Right here, pretend you have a dumbbell, go hip, go chest over the shoulder, chest, hip, shoulder, I'm oh, sorry, I said that wrong, let me get it. Hip, chest, over the shoulder, hip, nice. Right there, you're just walking through this movement. You're gonna do it with a dumbbell today. This is not a spinal movement, okay? Anti, move, <laughs> I'm trying to think of what I'm trying to say here. What I'm trying to say is your core is meant to stabilize your spine as the arms and legs move. One more, right there, that's what I'm trying to say. Hands to the ground. Take it back, left foot outside the left hand, shoulder sweeps, left arm, open it up, bring it back to the mat, nice work. Open it up, bring it back to the mat. Nice, big rotation, big open right there. Gaze follows fingertips, two more, right here. Open it up, nice, bring it back, one more. Open it up, bring it back, awesome job. Let's come into that half kneeling position, right, again, or knee tracks right in line with my hip, punch you in the gut, tuck that pelvis under, shoulders down and back, right here, take it, hip, chest, shoulder, chest, hip, chest, shoulder, chest, there we go, now I got it, now we're in a flow, now we're in a rhythm, nice, one of those days where you just can't get those words out, not a good day if you're a group fitness instructor, right, come on, let's go, right here, you got two more, chest, shoulder, chest, hip, chest, shoulder, chest, hip, Awesome job, take it back down to that quadruped position. We're gonna go star taps, so you're tapping out. So left arm goes out to 45, right foot back to 45. Bring it in right here, tap and in. Reach and in option, float it, float it, reach, reach, tap, reach, tap. Activating the back, the core, nice, right here. Shoulders, everything is turned on. Nice work, neutral spine, go four, go three, go two. Go one, other side, same thing. Reach, pull, tap, pull. It's a 45 degree reach out, nice. Moving in all planes today, right? Good for the mind, good for the muscles, good for the body, right here. Awesome, give me four, three, two, 
and one. Nice work. Option step back to a high plank. Rachel will take it up to an incline during our workout. She's going to stay on her knees for the purpose of today's workout. Shoulders down and back. Toes are pulling up towards the heels of my hands. Hold it here. Take a nice wide base with your feet. Tap those shoulders. Opposite hand, opposite shoulder. Tap it up. Go eight, seven, six. You got it. Five, four, three, two, one. Now pull those knees towards those elbows. Knee to elbow. Knee to elbow. Knee to elbow. There you go. Pull it up. You can always add an incline if you need it. Go eight, seven, six. Slow burpee walk-ins. That's where we go. In four, three, two, and one. Nice. Step the right foot. The left foot. Stand up. Take it down. Step back. Lead with the left foot. This time go left. Go right. Stand up. Take it down. Step back. Step back. In. In. Hoop. Nice. Alternate that lead foot every time. Give me the left, the right. We're going to do one more each way. Step it back. Step it back. Take it in. In. Nice. After this last one, you're going to stand tall and you're going to jack it out. Here we go. Bring it up and jack it up. Jack it up. Rachel's got you with the taps. I got you with the jacks. Let's go big up and around. Big shoulder sweep. Hoop. Feels Hoop. dramatic. I like it. Right? On show. Right? Yeah. Woo. Go eight. Go seven. Six. Five, you got it. Four, three, two, one. Let's give you some high knees so you can go here or you can run it out. High knees, high knees. Get them up, get them up, get them up. Let's go. Woo, come on. Drive it for eight, seven, six. You got it. Five, finish that warm up. Final three, two, one. Warm reach. Woo, quick sip of water. We're jumping in. You got three circuits today. Circuit one, shoulders, triceps, core. Starting on the shoulders, okay? I'm gonna go down to a 10 pound weight to make sure I give you guys good form. If I was doing this at home, definitely reach for that 15. I'm taking a towel underneath my left knee just because it can add, add a little bit of extra stability and comfort, okay? So if you don't like being on the kneeling position, add a towel, add something soft. Okay, again, right here, right? Knee is directly in line with the hip. We're gonna stay in this half kneeling position. I'm punching you in the gut. Oh, tuck that pelvis, spread the chest, shoulders down and back. Grab the dumbbell right here. Dumbbell my left hand, palm faces in. Okay, as I rotate up, I externally rotate so palm faces you. Come back, palm faces my face, palm faces you. Right there. You're gonna do that for 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, yes? Focusing on one side of the body at a time so this is your chance to go heavier if you can, okay? Go heavy right here if you can. Like I said, if I was at home, I'd reach heavy. I wanna make sure I'm giving you guys good form. Ready, we go. In three, two, one. So you're rotating out, rotate in right here. This knee stays right in line with that hip. Nice. Pelvis stays tucked under. Tuck that pelvis underneath the ribs. Keep the rib cage pulled in. Big exhale. Push every time I exhale, opportunity to work the core. Nice. Why do we rotate out? Because it's rare that you press overhead without any type of shoulder rotation. You want to take that shoulder through its full range of motion right here. Nice. Come on. 10 seconds here. You got it. Lots of core stability right here. Taking out those legs, just focusing on one arm at a time. You got it. Go five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it down. You're gonna take this dumbbell. You're gonna hold one head in each hand. And we're gonna do that same thing. I'm gonna go hip, chest, shoulder. Right, so I'm hip, chest, shoulder, chest, hip. Nice, so I'm pushing up and over. This is not a spine movement. This is core. We're stabilizing the core. Start at the hip. We go in three, two, let's go hip, chest, push over the shoulder, chest, hip, chest, push. This is an anti-rotation movement. I don't want my core to rotate. I am trying to stabilize my spine, my core, as my arms move in all directions. Core, shoulders, nice work. Core, shoulders, you got it. Awesome job. Down, push. Awesome, you guys look so stinking good. Find the moves that are new to you and figure out how to simplify them, make them easier. Maybe it's a lighter weight. That's what I'm doing today. Right here, 10 pound dumbbell instead of 15. You got it. Find the moves you know, a bicep curl. Figure out how to make it harder. Come on, three, two, one. Nice, we're going down to your backside. Skull crushers, I'm moving up, taking those 15 pounds, lying flat on your back. Skull crushers, bending just at the elbows. The name is a skull crusher because that's what you're doing. Dropping the dumbbells right down to the temples, shooting them back up. It's 40 seconds of work, and it starts in three, two, let's go. 
keeping that back nice and connected to the mat. How do I do it? External cue, there's a marshmallow behind the small of your back and you are simply squishing it by tucking your pelvis down towards the mat. Internal cue, decrease the air between your rib cage and your hips, make that space smaller, right? Remember someone's punching you in the gut? Right there, take that air out, keep it nice and tight. You're gonna keep it tight throughout the entire exercise. You're gonna breathe through it, focusing on the triceps, dropping those weights down towards the temples. Big exhale, push them up overhead, nice. Shoulders aren't moving, I'm just bending right at the elbow joint, that's what's moving. Focusing on the back of the arm, the triceps. Shoulders and triceps in the first set. That's what we're doing for three, two, and one. Talk so much, I lost track of time. All right, you guys, you're up. Last move, tricep. We're coming over here to this bench. You could do it from the ground. Place your hands on your dumbbells, heads of the dumbbells if you want. It is one tricep dip, dip it, knee pull. Dip, knee pull. We go in three, two, Let's go, back stays nice and tight. Woo, triceps are spicy. Nice work. Knee pull, Rachel's bending at the knees. Closer the knees are to the chest, easier it's gonna be. Farther the legs are, harder it's gonna be. Triceps are always spicy. This is gonna bring holy bananas out. Halfway, 20 seconds, let's go. Shoulders down, out of the ears. Nice neutral neck. Gaze in front of me, shake it out when you need to. Get right back in, you got it, Rage, come on. Nice work, 10, nine, Eight, you got it. Let's go finish strong. Final five, four, three, two, one. Holy bananas, right? Woo! Holy bananas. One more time through those four exercises. Half kneeling, other side. Shoulder press, chop and press. Skull crushers, tricep dips. One more time, other side, right? Placing my right knee on the towel. Left leg comes out straight in front. Dumbbell right here. Right hand, palm faces in, press in three, two. Let's go, rotate out, push, bring it back in. Woo, shoulders are gonna be tired from those tricep dips too, right? They gotta stabilize you. Get that pelvis packed in underneath the ribs. Nice, exhale, push. Yep, glad I got a 10 pound dumbbell today. Woo, we're getting after it, you guys. Yeah, circuit one and I'm feeling it. Right, sometimes these concentrated, Isolated moves right here where you're just focusing on one arm. They're harder. Taking your legs out of the equation, right? Putting the work all into that shoulder. You got, come on, five seconds. Let's finish it. Go four, three, two, and one. Always gotta make that squinty face, always on those. Oh, you're gonna stay right there, kneeling position. Chop, hip, chest, over the shoulder, right? Anti-core rotation, tuck the back toe under. Keep this glute nice and strong, stabilize you, right? Tuck that back toe under, we go in three, two, let's go hip, chest, shoulder, chest, hip, chest, shoulder, chest, hip, chest, shoulder. Power and control, this is controlled strength training, you guys, right here, controlled strength. Nice work, stay in it. Big exhale, push overhead, keep that knee, front knee in line with that hip, don't let it creep out. It's gonna wanna creep out because that creates balance. No, you wanna put the work into the core. Halfway, let's go. Over halfway, I should say. 10 seconds, finish it. Come on, right here. Chest, push. You're in the final five. Four, three, two, one. Nice, triceps, tricep dips, skull crushers. Those are your two moves. Start on the skull crusher, okay? Here we go, laying on your back. You're gonna squish that marshmallow, right? Push that low back into the ground. Dumbbells are straight overhead, bending just at the elbow. Decrease the air between the ribs and the hips. We go in three, two, let's go. It's 40 seconds. Reps are on you. You choose a pace that you can stick with for 40 seconds. You choose weights that are gonna make this hard at the end of 40 seconds, right? When I say 10 seconds, you should want out. That should be the weight choice. You wanna push those weights. I know we got tricep dips coming up next, so you're like, are you kidding? I can't fatigue the triceps here and tricep dips, right? Do what you gotta do to get through both of them. Come on, strength training, high intensity strength training. We take the muscles to fatigue and failure. That's what we're doing right here. You got it, keep squishing that marshmallow. Come on, come on. Lower with control, extend. You got this, stay in it. Three, two, and one. Nice work, up. Right, break, rest, recover, tricep dips. Whew. Check it out, stretch it out, flap those wings. Do what you gotta do. Last move, you guys. 
Last move, and then we're gonna drop those dumbbells. Fingertips face my butt, legs are out. One dip, one knee pull. In three, shoulders down and back. Two, let's go. Pack those shoulders down and back. Dip and pull. Dip and pull. Nice neutral spine. Don't let that chin jet out. One rep at a time, come on. Ah. Yes, you can. This is where I need my son saying, come on, mama. Come on, you got this. Right here. Woo, one rep at a time. You guys, halfway. Come on, we're here to push you. We're in it together. We know this burns. We know it, but you're working for that break. That break, and it comes in 10, 9, 8. You got this. Stay strong. Come on. Woo, push it. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Failure. We found it. Woo, holy bananas. Shake out those arms, take those dumbbells, set them off to the side. You ready to amp things up a notch? Cardio and core Tabata. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Two moves, fast and furious. Move one, Heisman runner. Chop, chop, ha, chop, chop, drive. Chop, chop, drive, chop, chop, drive. Core stability, turn it on. You go right from there, down to the ground. Three climbers, windshield wiper. One, two, three, elbow, elbow. One, two, three, elbow, elbow. Cardio and core. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds rest, fast and furious, three circuits. Heisman runner, say yes I can. Feels good to shake it out, I don't know about you, but I'm like, I'm all about the shake out. Woo, those triceps. Come on, 20 seconds, chop, chop, bounce. Take a giant step to your right, push left, in three, two, let's go, chop, chop, drive, chop, chop, drive. Come on, 20 seconds, boom. Boom, let's go. Stick it, fast on the feet. Come on, how fast can you move them? Right here, push, you got this. Let's go, five, four, three, two, one. 10 seconds, find that plank. Rachel's going to an incline. Three climbers at your pace, one windshield wiper. In three, two, let's go, let's go. Climb, two, three, hold, wipe, wipe. One, two, three, hold, elbow, elbow. One, two, three, hold, elbow, elbow. One, two, three, hold, elbow, elbow. Come on, one, two, three, hold, elbow, elbow. Let's go three, two, one. Nice work. Highs and runners, round two, two of three. Take a giant step to your left, push right. Push right in three, two, let's go. Chop, chop, ha, chop, chop, ha. Come on, yes. You got this, you got this. Come on, move like the athlete that you are. Yes, you can. One rep at a time, just keep moving. Right here, three, two, one. Rest, 10 seconds. Three climbers, one windshield wiper. Three climbers, one windshield wiper. Keep those shoulders over those wrists, don't shift back. Here we go, three, two, let's go, let's go. One, two, three. Wipe, wipe. One, two, three. Elbow, elbow. One, two, three. Elbow, elbow. Come on, halfway, halfway, let's go. Push, push. Can you make that knee to elbow connection for three, two, and one. Last time. Come on, Heisman. Giant step to the right. Push left. Last time, 20 seconds on. We go in three, two, let's go, let's go. Chop, chop, ha. Come on. Last time you're gonna do it. Working for that recovery. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Let's go. Ha, ha. Come on. Fast, fast. Move it, move it. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Come on. Three climbers, one windshield wiper for the final time. And then you get a water break. Yes? Come on, buy in right here. You're on. And three, two, Let's go, let's go. One, two, three. Elbow, elbow. One, two, three. Elbow, elbow. One, two, three. Elbow, elbow. Come on, finish. Strong, right here. Yes, you can. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! 20s are done, 2010 Tabatas. Grab some water. Circuit one's in the books. Circuit two, more shoulders and biceps, extra emphasis on the biceps, okay? Mostly biceps, a little bit of shoulder. Back to 40, 20s. You have three moves, three moves. Bicep, by shoulder, bicep. Starting, try and grab those 15s. See how it goes. 
One supine curl, palms out, normal curl. Stop, bend the knees, spread the floor apart underneath you. Curl normal, take it wide. One wide curl. One standard curl, one wide curl. 40 seconds of work. Let's do it, you ready, Rach? Yep, let's go. Right, we're like, not holding those dumbbells if I don't have to. I'm not, I can't handle it. We go, in three, two, shoulders down, let's go. Standard curl, take it wide, wide curl. Still pulling the dumbbells right up to shoulder height, controlling it down. Again, a movement where the eccentric motion, the way down is more important than the concentric, the pull up. Right here, control those dumbbells down. Don't get into a swinging pattern. Choose weights you can control without arching through that back. Keep that pelvis tucked under the rib cage. Rib cage pulled down and in. Exhale pulls you up. Soft bend in the knees. Spread that floor apart underneath you. You got it right here. Come on, come on, finish it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice, I'm dropping down to my 10 pounds. You're gonna give me an isometric bicep hold on the right arm. Left arm is gonna go front raise, lat raise. Bicep hold right here, and then a front lat raise. So I'm working right bicep, left shoulder. Shoulders down and back, give me the half curl. You're on in three, two, let's go. This move is just, whoo, holy bananas written all over it. Lifting right up to shoulder height. Again, really controlling that weight on the way down in the left hand. You got it. This is where I say pat your head, rub your tummy, right? Get that mind working as much as the muscles are working. Biceps and shoulders right here. One rep at a time. It's a spicy move, I know it. Come on, stay in it. You totally got this, yes you do. Right here. Come on, come on, what would it look like if I said 10 more seconds? Grit your teeth, do what you gotta do, keep moving. Come on, finish it. You got five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome job, you guys, woo! Hammer curl, I'm gonna try and go back to those 15s. We're gonna try and keep the dumbbells in constant motion as one arm drops, the other arm's curling. Hammer curls, alternating hammer curls, palms face in. Hammer curls give you more of the long head of the bicep, right? Stop bending the knees, think about spreading that floor apart underneath you. Hammer curl in three, two, let's do it. Curl, curl, keep those weights in constant motion. Not swinging, controlling. But as one arm drops, the other arm starts. Let's go, curl, curl. Woo, building strong arms right here. Come on, come on, I don't know about you but I never knew the true strength, the two, true meaning of upper body strength until I had like two kids, car seats, grocery bags, a fifth arm that I need growing out of somewhere, right? Come on, let's go, 10 seconds. Yes, you can, finish it, stay in it, keep curling. Right here, you got five, four, three, two, one. Rest and recover, set them down. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. We repeat those three moves, okay? Supine curl. Wide curl, standard curl, wide curl, isometric hold on the left, shoulder raises on the right, hammer curls. Three moves, you guys, three moves, that's it. Ready, grab those dumbbells, palms face me, shoulders packed down, spread that floor apart. Three, two, let's go. Standard curl, wide curl, you got this. Standard curl, come on, wide curl. Nice work, keep that soft bend of the knees. These back-to-back -back strength training circuits, super setting them. Come on, with limited rest, that's what makes this high intensity interval training. Limited rest, supersets. Woo, these 15s are starting to feel mighty, mighty heavy. Come on, stay in it. One rep at a time, there's those biceps. 10 seconds, 10 seconds, yes you can. Woo, those arm strength training right here. Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo, set them down, switch it out. I'm going for the lighter weight. Isometric hold on the left. Front shoulder raise, lat shoulder raise on the right arm. Ooh. Ready? <laughs> right? I like this move. It's one of my favorite moves right now. Five seconds. Set it up. Give me that half curl right here. We go in three, two, let's go. Front shoulder raise, lat shoulder raise. Again, just going right up to shoulder height. That isometric hold, that elbow's in line with or slightly in front of my body. On that left hand, that bicep hold, right? Don't want to get that elbow behind my body. That'll cause shoulder stress. Right here, come on. Ah, you got this. Shoulders are so stinking on fire right now, but we're going to push through it because we are strong. Yes, we are. We are strong and capable. Woo! You want to see strong toned arms right here? Strength training. This is how you get them. Knock it out. Come on, stay with me. Five, four, 
three, two, and one. Oh, whoo. Okay, hammer curls, hammer curls, hammer curls. Shake it out, shake it out. Give me some arm sweeps, whoo. All right, hammer curls, we're gonna stay in constant motion, right? Constant motion right here, palms face in. Finish it, you guys, then you're gonna drop those dumbbells back to cardio and core. We go, in three, two, let's go. Hammer, hammer, come on, 40 seconds. Yes, you can, you are so strong, right here. Woo, I love strength training, come on. You got it, one rep at a time. Always something you can strive for, right? If I'm at home, I'm striving for that 20 pound, maybe. I don't know, these 15s feel really heavy. But there's always something to strive for. There's always progress to be made. You just keep showing up. One day after the next, you get stronger, you build on it. 10 seconds here, let's go. You got this. Woo! Those weights, they should feel heavy. Yes, they do. Five, four, three, two, one. Holy banana boats. Woo, that is some arm workout. All right, quick sip and we're getting into your cardio Tabata. Quick sip right here. Quick sip of water, strength is done for circuit two. Now we got cardio Tabatas, right? Two moves, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds rest, three sets. Your two moves, I'm gonna show them to you. A lateral hop with a crossbody punch. So lateral hop, punch, lateral hop, punch. Okay, hips follow toes, boom. Hips follow toes, boom. So you get a nice little hip pivot in there, cross body punch, core's turned on. Yes, from there we go down to the ground. I'm gonna grab my towel because I'm so stinking sweaty. I'm going down to my forearms. Rachel, you should actually go down to one forearm too. It'll give you more stability. And right here, you're gonna tap, tap, tap. I'm gonna do this from a high plank right here. So it's tap, pull, tap, pull, tap, pull, tap, pull, right? Pulling in that knee. We're gonna do one side, the other side and then you're gonna alternate every rep. Woo, yeah? All right, cardio Tabata, say yes I can. Here we go, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. Take a giant step to your right. You're gonna give me a lateral hop left with a crossbody punch. It's 20 seconds. Make sure your toes follow your hips when you turn and pivot, okay? Keep those knees healthy and strong. Let's go, Rach, you ready? Push left in three, two, let's go. Lateral hop, push, land it, come on. Put something behind that punch, boom. Absorb that landing. Land loaded and cross body punch. Boom. 10 seconds. Let's go. Finish it. Come on, come on. We go. Five, four, three, two, one. Set it up. Star taps. Set it up. Down to the forearms. I'm going to go right forearm on the ground. Left arm, right knee. Left arm, right knee taps. In three, two, let's go. Tap in. Tap in. Your pace, your tempo. Mmm. Come on, hello core, there it is, you got it. Stay with me, let's go. Halfway, you're over it. Come on, finish it. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice work, 10 second rest, lateral hops. Giant step to the left, push right. Lateral hop, cross body punch, yes? Punching right here, left arm, three, two, let's go, hop, drive, drive. Whew. Come on, knock it out, knock it out. You got this. Yes, you can. Move it in all planes today. Yeah. Come on, come on. Push, punch. Push, punch. You got this. Come on, three, two, one. Star taps, other side. I'm gonna go right arm moves. Right arm, left leg. Right arm, left leg. Left arm stays planted on that mat. Three, two, let's go. Really tempting to open up here. Keep those hips square to the mat. Your pace, your tempo. Hello cardio, hello core. Let's go, let's do it. Finish it, woo! This move challenges me. You got three, two, one. Nice work. Ha! Ah, one more set. Giant step to your right. Lateral bound, push left. In three, come on, finish it, let's go. Two, one. Gotta find that energy, gotta find it. Come on, put it into the work. You showed up today not to give me 80%, not to give me 90. You give me 100 right here. Come on. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Let's go five, four, three, two, and one. Last time. Last time. Right here. You're going to alternate. Alternate each side. Tap out, tap out. Three, two, let's go. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, star taps, opposite arm, opposite leg. Tap them out. Core control for 10, nine, 
Eight, you got it. Let's go. Finish it. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! All right. Two circuits in the books. Good news is, circuit three is real, real short. One tricep move. 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. One tricep move. It is an overhead down, up. Instead of going all the way down, all the way up, you go down, half, down, top, down, half, down, top. That is what we call a one and a half overhead tricep. A one and a half overhead tricep. I'm going one dumbbell, you could always go two. 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. This is your burnout. And then we got a one minute real burnout for you. The one minute burn, burn. Right? Let's go, 40 seconds right here, yep. Overhead triceps. In three, two, let's go. All the way down, halfway up, down to the top. Keep that pelvis under the rib cage. If I'm looking in a mirror, I think hide it, show it, hide it, fully show it, hide it. Top head, down, show it, hide it. Show me just the top head, hide it, and show it. I'm turning to you so you can see what I'm doing. Soft bend in the knees, down, half, down to the top, down. Half, down, to the top, 10 seconds, let's go. Finish off these triceps nice and strong. Down, half, down, for three, two, and one. Nice work, dumbbells down. You ready for your one minute burn, burn? The one minute burn, burn, where we take it up a notch, okay? This is where you say holy bananas, right? It is a tricep push-up burpee. Rachel and I are both coming to an incline because the tricep push-up is real tough. Right? Elbows are gonna graze the rib cage. Nice narrow grip here. One tricep, and then I'm gonna jump in and give a burpee. You add a tricep push up every time. One tricep push up, one burpee. Two tricep push ups, one burpee. Three tricep push ups, one burpee. It's always one burpee. Stack on the tricep push ups, right? Fire. Fire! <laughs> Let's go, team! Come on, finish it right here. It's one minute. It is one minute of work, yes? You in it? In it to win it. Let's go, team. Three, two, let's go. One tricep push-up, one burpee, jump or don't. Two tricep push-ups, woo! Jump or don't. Three tricep push-ups. Woo, tricep push-ups, yes. We love them or we don't, either way we're gonna do them because they're effective, four. Ah, starting to slow down that pace. Woo, come on, come on. We go five, right, come on. Ah. <laughs> Rachel and I are just both on the struggle bus. Come on, you do your best, forget the rest. Four and five. Shaking, everything is shaking. Come on, stay in it, we're gonna go six. Drop to the knees if you need to, you can come right here. One, two, three, four, five. You know it's a workout when Rachel and I are both just sitting here on our knees, giving you everything, we got seven of them. Finish it, five, four, three, two, and one, take me back to my prenatal days when that's how I was doing push-ups, because that's how stinking hard this was. Triceps on fire, but we did it, you we guys. We did it, yeah. We did it. We worked for it, you know? Okay, actually, let's stay over here. We're gonna stretch, we're gonna stretch. Okay, you're gonna come over to this bench. Okay, you're gonna be on your knees, toes are tucked under. Take your elbows to the bench. Now, can you sit your hips back? You may need to scooch away from the bench. And you're just sitting back, peeking your head through the window of your arms. This is gonna feel so good for those triceps, yes? Stretch out the triceps, the lats, the shoulders. This is a really good exercise, a mobility exercise, to increase your range of motion. So if those overhead presses we did the first time, those single arm overhead presses, if those were a challenge for you, come hang out here for a little bit every day, right? It's gonna slowly increase that range of motion. Awesome job. Hold it here for three, two, one. You're gonna come up, you're actually gonna stay right here. I'm gonna keep one forearm on. I'm gonna bring a weight over into play. I'll slide one down to you, Rach. I'm gonna bring a weight over into play. I'm gonna thread the needle and reach for the weight. So I want there to be, I'm just threading the needle, opening up the shoulders. You grab onto the head of the weight. The farther I can get that away from me, and the farther I have to reach my fingertips for it, the greater that stretch is gonna be. You feel that? Yeah. Feels really nice. Nice little low back stretch. Nice little stretch through the shoulder. It's just like bringing that ear to mat. You can bring the ear to the bench, threading that needle through. And then we're gonna slide the weight to the other side. Same thing. So bring an opposing forearm to the mat, slide that weight through, thread the needle, can bring the ear down to the mat. Keep that dumbbell, try to slide it away from you. See how far you can reach those fingertips away. Holding onto that dumbbell, 
nice stretch through that shoulder. Oh, that scapula retraction, so much of it. Awesome job, bring it back. Nice work, you guys. We're gonna go into a couple neck stretches. You can do this kneeling, you can do this seated, whatever feels good for you, okay? Right here, left hand comes to the right temple. I'm just gently gonna give a nice little shoulder stretch here, or a nice little opening up. Opening up from shoulder to ear, neck stretch. Now, if I want, can and I'm able to, I'm gonna take this arm and thread it behind me. Palm faces out, gonna open up that trap, open up the neck, open up the shoulder. Awesome job. Again, keep that pelvis stacked underneath you. Really easy to get into stretch mode and just be here. Active stretching right here, active stretching, cool down. So stinking proud of you. Gently release, give the neck roll a couple, couple rolls side to side. Same thing, other side. Gentle stretch right here. Wrap this arm around, palm faces out, opening up from ear to shoulder. So stinking proud of you guys. This is arms and abs, part of our Hit Strong 35 workout program, high intensity strength training. That's what we're coming at you with. We got 10 new workouts. Do the full program. I promise you're gonna see some results. It's an awesome program. We built it specifically to build strength, cardio, endurance, speed, agility, basically to help you feel like an athlete at home. Roll that neck out again. Nice. Bring it back to center. You're gonna come down into that kneeling position. You're just gonna gently pull down on the neck. Awesome. And then we're gonna reverse it by coming into a reverse tabletop. So sit down right here. Fingertips face my butt. Toes are facing forward. Lift the hips, drop the neck back. Counter stretch, spread the chest apart. Hold it here, just push those hips high. Spread that chest apart, relax the neck. Awesome job, hold it here for three, two, and one. Sit it back. So stinking proud of you guys. You absolutely crushed today's workout, arms and abs. Come back for more Hit Strong 35. You can find all the workouts linked below this video. Also at nourishmovelove.com. So proud of you. Keep showing up. It'll pay off, I promise. Awesome job, Rach. Good job, Lynn.